Hey guys, this is Hassan and welcome to my channel Hassan Academy. So today we are going to discuss this question which is very important and very easy also. You must learn this type of question because every year from ACDT and BCCT all these things they are asking one or two question. Okay. So for all IIT JE need and MSET KSET all this aspirant you have to learn this type of question. Okay. Maybe not this question but definitely one question you will get from this type of concept. Okay. What they are asking, correct acidity order. So acidity order you have to find out which one is more acidic, which one is less acidic. They have given three compound, almost same compound only, only methoxy group. OCS3 means methoxy. Methoxy group they have changed the position from the here ortho, here meta, here para. Okay. So one, two, three. So you have to tell which one is most acidic first of all. Okay. If you are able to find out which one is most acidic, which one is least acidic, you will know the order. Okay. Only three is there. So whenever they are asking acidity and they have given you some compound, so what you need to do? You have to remove one proton from that structure, acidic proton you have to remove. After that you have to see the conjugate base stability. Once you remove the proton, you will get the conjugate base. That conjugate base in which structure conjugate base is the most stable, that is the most acidic. The reason behind uh, that stability and acidic, how it is uh, uh, connected, because student I have seen uh, they are showing some uh, confusion. The thing is, once you remove the proton, after that you are getting conjugate base. If that conjugate base is stable, that means that compound really want to release one proton and to get so that they get that stability. So let me do, uh, draw for this compound conjugate base. Okay. First of all, from where you will release one proton, from where you will remove, from uh, benzene ring, not possible at all. Oh, oh, methoxy group, no, from here also you can't remove, because you have to remove from this CH3, methyl group, okay. Once you remove from this uh, CH3 one proton, you will get CH2 minus, that is what, that is phenyl. Since it is phenyl, you will show the conjugation with that benzene ring, so that is more stable. So definitely you remove from that CH3 group only. From that CH3 group, I remove one proton. What is left? CH2 minus. Now, see, this CH2 minus you have to see in which case most stable. Now you see in this case it is methoxy group is there in ortho. In this case, same structure it will be. In this case, it will be in meta. Let me draw here. Here CH2 minus and here it is meta O CH3. In this case, it will be same structure O CH2 minus and here it will be para position O CH3. Now you, sh you should know the property of methoxy group. Methoxy group O CH3. What type of property it is showing? It is showing plus R, more plus R. Okay. Same time it is showing minus I also because oxygen is electronegative. Since oxygen has lone pair, it is showing plus R. So plus R and minus I both it is showing. But remember one thing: this is negative charge. This or uh, here, this is negative charge. CH2 minus. To make it stable, you have to reduce this charge. Okay. I already said to uh, uh, whether any compound is stable or not, or how to see. If it is positive charge, you have to see the how to reduce that charge. Your target is to reduce that charge. This negative charge, how you can reduce? By putting some electronegative, uh, I mean electron withdrawing group. Once you put uh, fix here some, put here some electron withdrawing group, they will pull this electron towards themselves so that this negative charge will reduce. Negative means what? Electron is there. Now, so now you uh, you have to be uh, from here you already learn one thing that I required some compound here I need to put some group here so that this negative charge can be reduced. So for that you require minus I or minus R kind of group but plus R is electron donating it is doing the opposite thing we don't want plus R but same th time you should know one thing that only ortho and para position showing plus r meta position not showing plus r there is no plus r in meta position since it is not showing plus r that means it is making this compound most stable so this is the most stable one i am writing here the stability better i am writing the acidity acidity which one is most acidic number two Number two is most acidic. What is the reason? Because there is no plus R. Plus R means electron giving. Electron giving uh, group we don't want. We want any group which can uh, withdraw some electron. 
uh, this one is definitely showing minus i minus i is showing but plus r not showing in this compound plus r also showing minus i also showing and this minus i this minus i if you compare this one is showing more minus i compared to this one well, how it is more and less because of distance always remember inductive effect is distance oriented this is in ortho here nearby this is in meta meta means little bit far away so minus i it is showing more here it is less no matter minus i it is less but at least it is not showing plus r no? since it is not showing plus r it is the number one position second is number one now comparison between number one and number three number three para position plus r showing s yes, showing minus i showing you are showing but very very less because it is huge distance from here to here para distance is more but minus i showing but very less minus i so from this one and this one which one will be more stable plus r is equal remember plus r is not distance oriented so plus r is here also equal here also equal here is not showing that's why it is the winner but one and three plus r is equal but minus i which one is more minus is i we one minus i to reduce this charge to make it more stable minus i one is stable uh, compound one is more so compound one second will, one will come here and third will be there so this is your acidity water second compound is the most acidic then first compound then third compound i tried my best to explain all these things i could explain more also but it will uh, make lengthy my video i really don't want kindly you can email me which type of com uh, video you want either organic inorganic physical you can write me i will explain that particular topic only thank you for watching and kindly do sharing with your friend thank you